Let's see. I am. Um, I've been. I'm a husband of 46 years. I have four girls. All of them are married. Um, three of them have children. I have uh, four grandchildren. Three girls and one boy. So I only have one boy in my life. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing at the largest custom home builder, actually largest production custom home builder in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas in the United States. Uh, And then I'm also a coach and a mentor for uh, a lot of people. I've been coaching for 20 years in addition to, you know, and and people say, what do you do? I say, well, I'm a, I'm a success coach. I help people understand how to, how to change their life from I'm not good anything. I can't be successful to, you know what, this is what I'm passionate about. I'm going to take that passion and turn it into success. So that's kind of what I do for, that's what I do for fun and for a living at the same time, because I love my job. I love what I get to do for a living. I wake up every day ready to go to work. So yeah, so I, 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 I want to make sure everyone is engaged in doing what they love and what they're passionate about. So that's wow, great. That's wonderful. So you're a success coach and how do you help people get to, you know, the success that that they want in life? So okay. how do you help them? That's a good question. Um, it's a little bit different path for everyone, but mm-hmm. um, but I start with my success course. Okay. And what it does is it teaches a few things. So the first thing we do is we figure out what do you want to accomplish? Because I find ladies that for most people, they have no idea what they want or mm-hmm. where they want to go, or what they want to accomplish. So the first thing that we do is we focus on where do you want to go? Who do you want to become? What do you want to accomplish? Right. So once we get that nailed down, right, and we t- it's about a two-week process just to kind of go through the iterations of filtering out all the things we dream about, but that's not necessarily what I want to do, right? Yeah. So once we get, I call it that vision of our future, who I want to become in the future, right? Okay. Uh, and the reason that's so important, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like when, when you know your birthday's coming up, it's like a month out and you know that you're going to get something really good for your birthday. So you kind of get excited about the future because your birthday's coming. Yeah. Having a vision in the future, usually about five years, that works the same way. It's always drawing us forward and getting us up and giving us excited about what we're going to do. The next thing we do is we create an amazing um, purposeful, intentional set of goals. And we right. start with, uh, what are your five-year goals? We, we pick a top three. What are your top three one-year goals? What are your mm-hmm. top three 90-day goals, 30-day goals? And we, we boil it all the way down to what are this week's goals and what are today's goals? So wow. we get the goal thing all put in place, right? And then next we work on what I call a very, very purposeful morning routine. Mm -hmm. Right. Every morning you get up and you have this routine. Well, for me, it includes reading through my I am list, which is an affirmation list. We read through a grateful list, which is all the things I'm grateful for in life. Right. right? Mm -hmm. Then we read through our goals and then we write out our plan for today and we create three priorities. The last thing we do is we talk about priorities. So here's this difference between what I do and what a lot of people do. A lot of people have goals and they have them written down and even have dates by which they're going to be accomplished, right? Which really, until you get there, you don't really have goals. Mm -hmm. But what I do in addition to that is we take those and we create three priorities that I'm going to work on every day. And when you Mm -hmm. start trying to accomplish three priorities that are specifically moving you towards your goals, which are specifically moving you towards your future, what you accomplish on a daily basis exponentially is greater than you would have otherwise. So wow. that's what I coach. Yeah, well, <laughs> what a great way of doing it, breaking into smaller bits each and every yes. time. That's great. And how did you get into life coaching? Oh, wow. Well, so that's a fun story to tell. It's a long story. So I don't, I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing. But at 42 years old, I was kind of lost. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was very negative. Um, I wasn't, I didn't have a positive outlook on, on life. I was being, I was kind of a failure at everything I tried. Um, and I kind of accidentally found a great coach. Um, and he gave me some of these skills that I now coach, pointed me in the right direction, gave me some great direction, held me accountable to doing those things 
And it changed my life forever. Um, turned my life around, turned my marriage around, my family, my career, and 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 the rest of my life is is a result of of having met that one coach, which is why I'm so passionate about coaching. Wow, that's that's so amazing. I mean. One action just changed your whole life. That's great. Yes, yes. And uh, what do you enjoy the most about what you do, about being a success coach? <sighs> See, seeing people accomplish and being successful in life is is probably its own reward. You know, um, so many people I talk to don't believe that success is possible for them. Okay. Um and it, one of the greatest things I do in life, um, and it was even true for my own children, was helping them understand how to take a few goals and turn those into a success. Mm-hmm. Take that success, create a few more goals, and turn that into a success. And life starts to starts to get momentum, and life starts to you start to accomplish things. You go, wow, I think I can do this. And then you have another success, and you go, I think I can do this. And before long, you're going, wow, it's amazing what you can do if you just set a few goals, right? Wake up every day and be purposeful and intentional. I can completely change my life. And I have people that I know that I've helped, that I've coached that, you know, that call me often and and are very grateful because being able to set goals for your life will absolutely change your life. That's that's what I enjoy. Well, that's great. Once again. Um, yeah, we can see that you're really excited uh, about being a success coach, and that's just fantastic. Very yes. passionate. Yeah. Thank you. And finally, I am, thank you. yeah. And finally, what is your advice for kids or the next generation? Probably a couple things. Number one, I would say enjoy being the age you are. You know, right. a lot of times, what you know, uh, I think a lot of the advice that's given is, you know, you need need to grow up. You need to do this. You need to do this. And, and, and I told my children, look, enjoy being like my daughter when she was 14 was struggling with, with I'm not good enough. And I said, look, just enjoy being a 14 year old. First of all, enjoy life. Second was, was to wrap your head around the fact that life is not happening to you. Life is happening for you. Okay. It's not what happens in life that determines our outcome. What determines our outcome is how we respond to what's happening. And if you see that, that everything that's happened to me is happening for me, then I say, okay, so how am I going to use what just happened? Even though it wasn't fun, I didn't enjoy it, but if it's happening for me, then maybe I need to learn. I need to grow. Oh, 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 I learned this. Oh, I could also, I, I see this happen and take everything that happens, the good, the bad, the happy, and the sad, right? Take and use it for your benefit and learn and grow forward. Mm. Third would be have a plan, have a plan. And, and it, you don't have a plan and it, and it never changes, okay? Because my plan changes all the time. But you're never going to get anywhere in life if you don't know what you want, and what you want is what do what do what's my plan? Where do I want to go? What do I want to accomplish? Right. So yeah, that would be that would be the three things. That's that's so those are the three things I told my own children. So 